What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and today I'm just going to take you through my thoughts and feelings somewhat of a review of Transformers Legacy Armada Megatron and first we'll take a look at him in tank mode and I think he looks absolutely fantastic in tank mode they've done in obviously these little bits now in the original these flipped up and became it pretty much became like a base we had a ramp here so they have got little ports and it, the, it looks you know they've done it out like it looks like it should roll forward and this bit should spring open and stuff from the original toy but they didn't actually follow through with that but they give you the paint apps for it so it still looks fairly cool i don't like the gun barrel being a different color from this um i'm not sure in the original but i, I you can see the color difference there i'm not very keen on that Round the side, everything cleans up very well. Again, this sort of slid out as like a little bay or something for the minicons. Again, you can tab weapons and minicons probably onto it. Come around to the back, see a wee bit there, but it's not a big deal. Again, here, uh, go without saying, you know, they've they just didn't put the wee bits on the extra or the extra wee bits on the side. But for the class, it is, I think it sits well. Uh, you have your Decepticon symbol, you have all your paint apps, you have this little gun turret and stuff for the back. And in general, the paint applications are absolutely fantastic on this guy. Uh, I can't fault it for that. Tank mode, fairly good. Uh, it probably would have went up to a commander class or whatever to be able to get all these extra little bells and whistles. But for what it is, it's actually a very good uh version of the leg or for what it is it is a very good uh tech on the armada megatron so i'm not going to complain too much about that in tank mode and just to get a little scale a couple of bots that i have sitting about with me i have the animated pro with his sidecar um let's see We have Kingdom Ultra Magnet. You can see just there, just for a sense of scale. And now we will take a look at Transformers Legacy Armada Megatron in his robot mode. I don't do transformations in these. These are more of my thoughts and feelings about the actual figure itself. If you want to check out the transformation, I have a separate transformation video for this guy on my channel. So for the robot mode, it looks absolutely stunning. He set it up in a nice pose. Looks fantastic. But let's get into it. So the head sculpt. Definitely on point. Really love the head sculpt. A little gripe with my copy is these are bent like nothing. I have to, I'll probably get a hairdryer and maybe try and soften them up and get them into position. So they're just a little wonky with pace. But everyone in that there will vary. Coming down, you can see all the paint applications, the Decepticon symbols, down through the figure itself. You have these painted on. Like I said, the paint applications are absolutely fantastic on this figure. And then the rest of that that you've seen already in tank mode. So articulation, we'll start with the head. The head can do a full 360. You can look up slightly and then it can look down really or a lot further which is fantastic because Megatron should be looking down on other figures uh, and you get a slight tilt to the side onto the arms you get about that much up you don't get any real rotation on this section so it's very limited but you can get the arm right up the side there as you can see back there so if you flip up this panel you can get the arm that bit more extended he has got a waist swivel legs can go right up past 90 degrees due to transformation soft ratchet out to the front and soft ratchet at the back you get about 90 degrees 90 degrees of a knee bend uh, you do get 
thigh swivel, you do get arm swivel too. Uh, you get angle pivot on the ankles, nothing forward or back. And that's it for the articulation. Now what bugs me about this figure is the arms. These don't tab in when you're moving them about, they just want to flop all over the place. And that is very frustrating uh, when you're trying to transform them, when you're trying to pose them, just everything. Uh, with the arms. The arms are definitely the biggest letdown for this figure itself. The legs, the legs are fine. I have no issue with the legs. The only other real issue that I have is the, when you try to do the gun turret mode to bring it around to the front, this is really tight. It really feels like you're going to just pull the figure apart. Luckily so far I haven't, but it definitely feels just like that. Then you have this, this hand, and obviously it's different from this fist, which is just your normal closed fist. I would have preferred this. I know what they were going for here. They were going for that claw sort of hand look uh, that he has in the show. But I don't know, I just had the other fist. That's just me. So now we'll just do a couple of size comparisons. Here he is along with Armada Hotshot. Here is Armada Starscream. If we just move him over slightly, we can bring in Armada Optimus. So Armada Optimus with his uh, trailer, sort of his, uh, super mode, definitely towers over him. But we're getting a tidal wave for this guy, so hopefully that gives him some more height so he can take on Armada Optimus in his super mode. So, final thoughts on Transformers Legacy Armada Megatron. The transformation is very simple. It's easy uh, a couple of times and you, you can do it no problem. I quite like that about it. I don't like, sometimes I don't like, especially with these figures, I don't like a transformation that takes you 20 minutes to do. I think for this kind of figure, a masterpiece figure, that's fine. But for your chug scale figure, I think you shouldn't be spending any more than five to 10 minutes really transforming a figure. So the transformation I think is brilliant. It does what it has to do. It's fairly simplistic, but the negatives, uh, I also like the, paint applications I think they're really well done I think it looks perfect sculpt wise it looks like Armada Megatron and it does everything it needs to do it does you can bring the gun turret around as I show you now you can also do the minicon upgrade bar that you don't actually need a minicon for it uh, but it does all work everything's there they have definitely done a great job with this figure in that aspect but on the negative note, I don't like the different color on this gun turret. I think it should have matched the actual rest of the turret. Possibly just me that's thinking that. Um, these here are bent due to probably the way it was packaged, but that can get remedy or I can remedy that. That's fine. Uh, they left out the minicom bits, which would have been a real bonus, even just them two front sections, because these arms just don't articulate which is one of my biggest hates on this figure is those arm sections they just want to flop about they don't tab in I mean for me they should have been tabbing in up here or locking in some way with this panel I mean this panel is coming down sitting over if that would have locked into there to hold that in place that would have made it so much better because it's not like it's got the rotation anyway so they haven't got the articulation in the shoulder and they haven't locked it in so that it doesn't flop about everywhere so that is a massive miss in my book. Uh, it does definitely put a big downer for me on the figure. I think it either had to have one or the other. It should have had the shoulder articulation or it should have been locked in place. But as it stands, they have no shoulder articulation and it doesn't lock in place. So it's definitely a big negative. So the last thing to say is, do I recommend this figure? 
it is a soft recommend. I think if you have the original Armada Megatron, I'd probably just stick with him. Unless you're a real scale sort of person, because I think the original is a little taller than this guy. Um, if you have the original, stick with the original. Don't be swapping out for this guy. If you don't have the original, then this guy is definitely an easy pickup for me. I think it's better than the Combiner Wars version that they've done a while ago. I did not pick that up. I didn't like the look of it. I don't think it... It just didn't sit well with me. This guy looks way better. Uh, so, soft recommend for me. If you have, haven't got the original, you can pick up this guy. But, just be well aware about those shoulders. They are not great whatsoever. So that's it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a like and a subscribe. And until next time, stay awesome.